Hello guys, welcome back to the Octoprint setup video. This is part 2 of the video series. If you missed part 1, go to the video descriptions and check the link there. This is especially made for the Hypercube, but it works with every printer. And we will take care about the Octoprint server today and what to set up to control your printer. Let's go to the PC. If you want to connect to the Octopi server through the browser interface, use the serial port of your Raspberry Pi. This should be the USB connected to your RAMs. You can leave auto for the baud rate, it will detect it automatically. And I didn't use a printer profile, it worked fine for me. Save connection settings and I want to auto connect on server startup and hit connect. And your printer is connected. Just easy. How to prove it? Use the controls. You can see your printer, your webcam and you can move it which is pretty cool film it again and it's there you can set up the time lapse if you want to create a time lapse video use the timed mode with 30 fps and i'm using an interval of 30 seconds for the time lapse video this means it will shoot a photo every 30 seconds that's almost about everything for the setup of the Octoprint server. What we want to do now is to make a print. My settings is the following. I will still use Cura 2.5 because it has awesome slicing settings and I will slice my codes and save the G-code files like in here some fidget spinner. I will just drag and drop this one to upload locally because this is pretty quick. You can see down here it is uploading and the file is already sent to the Octoprint server. If you want to start the print use this button here and load and print. It will say printing and you can check this if your bed is heating up and after your bed is heated up usually your hot end should heat up. You can manage your files here, deleting it, create creating folders, everything you want. So that's about everything to set up your Octoprint server. Pretty nice. You can also use the controls on your phone using your Android browser and watch your printer print uh, your desired 3D print. There's a slight problem for me because I want to watch my printer work from all around uh, the town. So this only works in your local uh, network and that's the feature I really miss here and this we will care about in the next video where we'll take on an op option to Watch your printer from your mobile phone even if you're not at home. If you like this video be sure to subscribe and also watch my other videos if you want and I wish you happy printing and have a nice day guys.